fifth for the Indiana Pacers. Seventh Jack. The identical record of the Cavaliers at the right elbow. It's Pascal looks for Birch on a post up and a nice move. Beautiful patience that time. The icon back in February. Here's an OG three. Got it. Good job against the Indiana zone that Barnes time. Barnes now back up top to Van Vliet on a handoff. Turns the corner. Oh, what a dime! Great passing, excellent movement. Sharing a rock, mid screen a roll, the roll, beautiful fake, two points. Pascal lead pass, Red Van Vliet. It's a two, no. Offensive rebound leader for the team is Scotty Roy as he puts it back up and through. It's his former team. You can imagine a lot of family and friends tonight. Here's Pascal, right through contact to finish. He's got nine. He averages eight on the season at 13 in Memphis. Well, you remember back in May at 21, he had 31 against the Raptors. And OG on a post up. Tied with the Thunder for the highest percentage of points scored in the paint. Memphis leads the way, then San Antonio, Washington, Cleveland. OG with a slam dunk. He's got eight. Pascal, what a great job just feeling it all out and then set able to get it by Boucher Boucher on the court along with Precious. OG the three good from now. Ooh, you like this matchup, Jack? Where's the double coming from? Here's Van Vliet with the three. Good from Calgary. Since three-point shoot, he has a beautiful stroke. Pascal. Oh. oh, what do you want? First team or second team, Jack? <laughs> he gets the opportunity. Siakam. Backing in on Anderson. Double comes. A two, a three. Goal. It's interesting. Nick Nurse in his pregame availability. And as pass. Barnes finds Armani, new contract works. Drills the three. What a pass. Setting the tone because you win tonight. You're picking up a game on either Cleveland or Chicago. This game means a lot. Here's Pascal the three. Siakam from Peter. moving out of that section. Fortunately, to everybody obviously taking their time doing that, and nobody's rushing as Barnes knocks it down, which is great to see. Here's Van Fleet. And Fred flips it up and through. The attempt doesn't go for Jalen Smith. Here's Thaddeus Young. Brooks moves it. A two good. You mentioned it. Ball movement. Fred. A two Great hands. Here's Brooks. Back over to a two Working on a three. It's our secret, Patty D. Here you go. Chua. Young. Any because it's a school that it's, it's just great to see the publicity that they're getting. They've had some tough, tough times. Small little Jesuit yeah. school in Jersey the City. Open yeah. by Van Vliet. Here's Young. Raptors just keep it rolling. Bad Young. No. Tapped in by. Gal, he's got 15. Six. Doesn't go. Barnes grabs a rebound. That's his fifth. Van Vliet, Pascal, they share. You know why they share? Because they care, Jack. To Buddy Heald. Here's Barnes. Lays it up and through. And a timeout taken by the concourse and now they're testing the in arena mic here's herbie coon please at this time by order of the fire chief we are being asked to slowly and calmly evacuate the building there is no threat there is no threat to public safety i'd like to repeat there is no threat to public safety the game has been suspended 
and we need to ask you to please, in an orderly and calm manner, evacuate Scotiabank Arena. So the Raptors leading 66-38. You just heard from the public address announcer. He had mentioned that the game is being suspended. I don't know if that means that everybody's going to be, everyone's going to leave the building and then at some point be allowed to come in if they're able to handle the current situation. We will see. Let's send it now up to Kayla Gray. Kayla. Hey, thanks, Matt. Yeah, so obviously the situation is fluid, but right where we usually sit on the perch on top of us is where we're assuming that there was a fire to one of the speakers. I actually was able to talk and get a little bit of clarification from one of the firefighters here. And the reason why everyone is asked to evacuate is because the speaker is in a very particular spot, someone might have to descend to actually put it out. So what they're worried about is if it continues to get engulfed, it might fall, something might happen, someone might be hit. Um, so in terms of why we are evacuating, they just want to make sure that they are taking all necessary precautions for safety, guys. Thank you, Kayla. And uh, obviously the folks here at the arena moving out in a very orderly fashion and obviously as a precautionary measure right now, the uh, Toronto Fire Department has made the decision to uh, suspend the game at this stage. Great. What the fuck you doing, man? What? That's the way she goes. That's the way she goes? That's right. That's the way she goes. That's what I said. Fucking way she goes and goddamn erections. Room the night. See here. 